My mom's a seamstress, but she's also a hoarder. And so am I. So when she gave me this fabric that she got from an alteration from one of her customers, I could see the vision. I really want to make a cute date night skirt with this fabric, so come with me to my mannequin and let's start draping. While I'm starting my drape in the background, let me give you a closer look at the fabric I'm working with. So my mom shortened a dress for a customer, which gave me two conveniently skirt-shaped scrap pieces that have already been sewn on the sides and have been hemmed. It would be really easy to sew these together with an elastic waist and call it a day, but I really wanted to create something pleated with fullness at the hips. So I focused my pleats on the sides to give that fullness I was looking for. And right now I'm just playing around with what it could look like. So I just draped two slightly different options and I decided to go with the one on the right. With that sorted out, I started to work on resizing the lining fabric. Okay, so it's the next day and let me catch you up on what the plan is since I was way too nervous to talk to the camera the other day. So the reason why I was nervous is because I was working through a couple problems. One problem is that this skirt has a lining fabric, which is a knit, meaning it's stretchy. And then the other fabric is a lace that basically acts as a woven. It doesn't have any stretch in it. This is an issue because the knit fabric would need to have a negative ease to fit me, meaning the waist measurement would need to be a little bit less than my waist measurement to fit me correctly because it has that stretch in it. And the lace needs to have the exact right waist measurement to fit me correctly because it doesn't stretch. So I was stressing out about cutting this knit fabric mainly because I don't have any fabric like it. It's sort of the situation where I have one shot to get this right. I mean, it doesn't need to be that dramatic. I probably could find similar fabric at the store, but it wouldn't already be sewn up like this. So I really wanna try to get this as right as possible. So cutting this fabric really stressed me out. And so I called my mom. <laughs> I actually love talking to her for this reason because we both think it through like a puzzle and I love puzzles. So she helped me think through this puzzle and we revised the plan entirely. So basically her plan was that I should just get this lace fabric to be pleated correctly and install the zipper on that. And then I can use the knit fabric and get that situated after the fact. And I'll already have something to go off of for the measurements on that since the lace fabric should already be done or the lace layer should already be done. And I like that plan a lot more because I won't be so nervous about cutting this. So the other day I actually did go ahead and pleat it. So since I'm just pleating it, I don't have to cut any of the lace fabric and that eases my anxiety so much more. Yeah, today I'm gonna go ahead and install the zipper on this lace fabric. And I honestly, I think I could get this done today if I really tried, so we'll see. Okay, so that's not going how I expected. I'm really not liking how the pleats turned out. I thought it was cute in my head, but it's not doing what I thought it would. It's, it's just not giving. <laughs> it's not giving. So uh, I'm going to do the easier option and just do the elasticated waist. And I think it'll look great. So <laughs> let me do that. That means that I have to remove the zipper that I already did and remove the pleats that I already did. I really wanna make something that I'll wear. I think that if I continued on doing it the way that I am doing it, I don't think I'd wear it. It's just not cute, it's kind of flat. Like it's a flattening effect and it's not giving more volume. I'm just a little bummed because I have to unpick all that, but let me just go ahead and do it. So after I removed the zipper and the pleats, I sewed both layers together, which was also kind of a mistake, but I'll get into that later. Next, I cut some elastic that was two inches less than my waist measurement. I always find that that's the most comfortable for me. After zigzag stitching over the ends overlapping, I marked the elastic in quarters so I had four evenly spaced markings to line up with my side seams and my center front and back. Once I pinned my skirt to my elastic waistband, I zigzag stitched it all together so they lined up at the top. This is my favorite way of attaching elastic to a skirt because it comes out looking pretty even, especially since in this case, I additionally added a pin in the middle of all my quartered sections to spread that gathering more evenly. After I got that first section done, I carefully folded the elastic towards the inside of the skirt and did another row of zigzag stitches to hold it in place. If you're going to sew a project similar to this, one tip I have for you is to use a lot of pins to make sure your fabric is folding evenly 
as it can be kind of hard to tell when it's so gathered like this, so you could end up with an uneven hem. Oh, and when I initially tried this on, I realized that the lining was too long, which I should have caught when I sewed the two layers together. Seam ripping zigzag stitches should be avoided at all costs, so I'm just folding the lining up by three inches and stitching that down. And here's the finished skirt. If I had to change one thing about this project, I wish I had remembered to shorten the lining layer before sewing the two layers together, but this little hack isn't noticeable with the lace layer on top, so it'll just be our little secret. Other than that, I really like how it came out, and I hope you enjoyed the video, even though I made a couple of sewing mistakes along the way. Please subscribe for more sewing mistakes, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.